Hello, I'm David Han. I'm the Senate Republican leader here in uh, St. Paul with another update about what's happening at the Capitol. Well, this is a, an important week because tomorrow we're going to get the uh, February forecast. This is the projection of what the revenues are going to be like as we head into the next session, which starts on March 8th. We right now have a $1.2 billion surplus, which means we are collecting more money than our budget calls for to the tune of $1.2 billion. We are over collecting, over taxing from the people of this state. So now that we're going to get an update on that, on that forecast, I think it's going to be about the same, maybe a little bit more, we'll see. But the, it begs the question, what are we going to do with the money? On our side, in our caucus, we're talking a lot about let's do some real tax reform, tax relief. We could do things like uh, eliminate the double taxation on Social Security benefits or veterans' pensions, or we could talk about doing real income tax relief for everybody in the state of Minnesota. But I'll tell you what, the Democrats over here, they talk about tax reduction as if it's reducing the spending ability of the state, taking away revenues from the state. A total disjunction here. We're talking about letting people keep their own money. The Democrats are talking about taking money away from the state. Are you kidding me? We need to have real tax reform, tax relief. We're going to work very hard to get it. The next thing that we're going to probably talk about in the context of the budget forecast is the transportation things that we've been talking about for months. How are we going to find money to fund transportation? A lot of people think we need it. I think we need it. It's something that's important to people across the state, greater Minnesota, the metro area. The Democrats say we need to have a big tax increase, gas tax, transit tax, $2 billion of additional taxes when we already have $1.2 billion in surplus waiting over here, waiting to be used. We think if you take the existing taxes on automotive items and use that dedicated to roads and bridges, that's more than enough money to provide a reliable source of income. However, Democrats think we're stealing money from the general fund and we'll never be able to fund transportation because we just can't make up our mind. You know what? We've been elected to set priorities. If we think transportation funding is a priority, and it is, it's in the Constitution, we'll find a way to dedicate money to do it. That's our job. We should do it that way. This is a great opportunity to make that reform because we've got the surplus. So that's what we're doing here this week. We'll see what happens next week and we'll talk to you later.